Hi Taurus, welcome to your singles reading for January. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus, welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. So Taurus, we're going to look at uh, energy here. You could possibly be meeting somebody new or if you're separated from somebody or wondering about an ex or but you do have to be single in some way if you feel like you have a connection to somebody i do a connection reading love connection reading also you may want to watch that you may resonate with that also you can check the description box below for links to all the taurus playlist find the love playlist and find the love connection readings and maybe something there will resonate for you but you're more than welcome to watch the singles reading and hopefully uh, something will resonate here for you. So Taurus, let's see what's going on with the singles. What's going on with the singles? Possible person coming in. Could be somebody returning, somebody totally new. Let's see what the energies are for you, Taurus. So let's see, I'm feeling those two right there. So we could get a sign element planet. So we have water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then we have Pisces. So definitely could be dealing with a Pisces here. Or a water sign. Another water sign. Whoops. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Taurus, is um, get like opening energy. So this could be your energy. This could be your possible person coming in. Their energy could be um, mutual energy of the future. So we're just going to pick an energy here and uh, see what we get. If you are familiar whoops, with my single readings, um, I'm doing this one a little bit different. So you can let me know in the comments below uh, how you feel about this uh, style. If you per the <laughs> can't even talk. If you prefer the other style, you can let me know. If you're not familiar, uh, check below, again, the love playlist and find the singles reading. Readings for November and December, and you can let me know in the description box, well, not the description box, the comments, what you think. So let's get an opening energy here. The search, feeling lost, confused, and lonely, six. So wanting to go to a, into a better place here. Searching, I feel like searching, like, where is my person? Where are they? Feeling lost, confused, lonely, alone. So I feel like this could be somebody totally new. So I'm going to put an energy here and an energy here, and then we'll pull tarot around that energy. And we'll see how the energy may come together, and then how once they come together, how that energy will play out. So I'd say pick a side. If you resonate with one side here, pick a side. If you don't resonate with any energies here, then this uh, may not be your reading this month. Okay, put one there. I'm feeling that one. All right, so what do we have on this side? Oh, Ganesha, this has been coming out a lot. Clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. 31 is four. Stability, basis, foundation. On this side, we have rising above. Clarity, freedom, and solution. And then 11 is like being on the right spiritual path. And if you do add 11, that's two. That is about unity. And on the bottom here, we have remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. 23, 21 is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. So let's see, what do we have here? We have two, three, four, and six. Hmm, okay. So this side over here, I feel like has found a solution to an issue here and is now rising above that and it has gained the clarity and now is gaining their personal freedom. This side here I feel is, is like very divinely connected and protected probably by the spiritual team and that sort of energy also clearing away obstacles for them. So I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. But somebody is in search here of love, of something. All right. So let's see. Let's see here. I'm going to gain. Uh, I've been doing readings, so I'm kind of. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get energy around this side, energy around that side. And uh, see what's going on here for you, Taurus. All right, so why do we have Ganesha here on this side? 
with clearing away obstacles, the high priestess. And I had such violent, very divinely guided energy here. Somebody was very intuitive, is connected to source, and that sort of energy. I'm feeling these two right here. So we have uh, judgment, and we have the two of swords. So this person is very connected to source, um, but this is making a judgment call about something with the uh, judgment card here. And then here is like being unable to make a decision. So this person over here, even though they're divinely guided, they need to make a decision that they just feel kind of like they can't make. And they know it's a major decision they really need to make here. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Let's pull some energy on this side over here. What is this rising above on this side? Ten of Wands. Yep, an ending. And I have felt that energy burning some ending here. Finally ending that. Rising above it. Gaining clarity and freedom. Finding a solution, a way out of this burning some energy. And now they're independent here. They're single with this nine of pentacle energy, male, female, doesn't matter. Somebody's uh, coming out of an ending here. They found their freedom. They're now stable, secure on their own, independent kind of energy. Tower, yeah. Rising above a tower moment here. This person, a breakdown, shakedown or something. Major tower moment in their life, but... I feel like they found their peace and harmony with this um, dove here. And I feel like they're going on search of something else. Like they've it's like, okay, you know, that didn't work. I'm rising above it. Above it, I know my self-value and worth, the Nine of Pentacles energy. I'm independent, can take care of myself. So I'm going out on a journey here on a new path. And uh, going on into search of something else. <laughs> wow, okay. This side here is confused about something. They can't seem to make a decision, even though they're very divinely. They probably lead, need to listen more to their gut, their intuition, and this divine energy. And I think the answer would be more clearer to them and be able to make this decision. Three of Pentacles. So it's teamwork, collaboration, working together. Hmm, okay. Let's get an energy. This person may need advice. Whatever, whatever it is for them that they can't decide on, um, make a decision on, they may need to get advice, help from other people on what to do. I think they're just stuck. Even though the divine is trying to shed light on them, with Ganesha and the high priestess, and with the judgment here, it's like they still can't make a decision. And I'm like, I think the divine has like showed them the answer, but for some reason they're just not seeing it. So they may have to go and seek help, guidance somewhere else. Ace of Shields, wow. So this person is, they're in search of something that is much more stable than where they were. That's for sure. Much more stable. That can be for the long term. And stable ground where there's growth and abundance. Stability. For the long term, wow. That's what this side's in search of. They rose above the ashes. They rose above it. They're ready now for this stable energy to come into their life. I feel like wherever they were before, it wasn't stable. Things were always on rocky ground, shaky, imbalanced, very uh, turbulent kind of energy. But I don't know what this decision is over here. What uh, I don't know. So I don't know. You know, I don't usually pull clarifiers over here, but I'm like, I, I don't know what's going on. Like, what do you need to make... What does this side need to make a decision about? So we got the Four of Wands and the Page of Wands. So the Four of Wands can be about marriage, commitments, um, kind of energy, the home. Page of Wands, though, is good news coming in. So it could be surrounding their, something around their home life. Some sort of good news comes in around their home life, but they're not sure what to do. <sighs> Maybe somebody wants them to sell their home or wants to buy their home, and they're very adamant about it, and this person doesn't know whether or not to accept it. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. 
know. All I know is this side needs to make a decision about something. Oh, let's see. So whether or not to move away from, could have been a third party situation in the home over here. But I don't know what that good news is coming in. Uh, Page of Wands is usually good news. But the Three of Swords is about heartbreak, pain, sorrow, very hurt energy. Moving away from that energy with the um, needing to make a decision to move away from a third party energy. Maybe they were waiting and waiting for good news to come in. Maybe they were involved with somebody married and they were waiting for the good news to come in to say, hey, you know, I'm leaving my marriage for you. And maybe because we got three over here again and maybe this person that they're waiting for can't make up their mind about them. And they can't make up their mind about whether or not to leave this situation. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, they're trying to hold on to this. They're trying to hold on. <laughs> trying, trying to hold on. And they can't let it go. Kind of energy. I'm not feeling like this is connected. Like this, you know, is like a third party. Like you connected to this side. I feel like... I feel like this side is totally separate from this side. I mean, it could be for some of you, you're involved with somebody and they can't make up their mind whether or not to choose you or leave the person they're with, but I'm not getting that energy. I, I feel like this side's already risen above their issues and now they're ready for a new beginning, for something stable for the long term. And this side, uh, they know it's the right thing to do to either leave this person I think they're waiting, waiting, and I think they know the right thing to do is to leave this person with the chariot energy. Oy. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to come together. <laughs> Let's see. Well, there you go, the Ace of Sword energy. Wow, so, and I felt that divinely guided um, kind of energy with the swords. Truth, clarity, sword of victory. Huh, I don't know. Let's get more energy on this. The mother. So now we have the empress. Six, uh, eight of shields, eight of pentacles. Now the queen of swords. So could meet this person at work. Maybe they're like a new boss or a new or something like that. Or if there's some sort of legal situation going on, that's how you guys may meet. Could be this winter. Or maybe you didn't meet them already, like this past fall, coming into the winter. Kind of energy. Because uh, the Empress gives birth uh, to new things. But also, it's kind of like that Emperor energy. Um, value, worth, you know, can it be a boss, can be, you know, in charge. Death. Hmm. And the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody finally putting an end to... I feel like this side will finally put an end to it, knowing their value and their worth. And just letting it end. And transforming out of that. But somehow you... This person's in search of something. Somehow finds you and you're stuck in this situation. Or it doesn't have to be you. Somebody's stuck in this situation. Somebody is in search of something and finds the other person. But that other person is stuck in a situation. And you could have met them uh, at work or you could meet them some sort of legal way or something like that, if that makes sense. And uh, maybe advice, maybe you went to a professional for advice or something like that. And that's how you meet, use meet or something. Um, but let's see. It could be this winter. Oh, let's see now. Seven of Cups. So summertime. Now we have summertime with the Seven of Cups, but that's still kind of confused. So this may be a dating thing on and off with this person. I feel like this person's all stuck and confused in whatever situation they were in. This person's ready for something new. And um, there's going to be some sort of connection here, but one person is still stuck in something else. The other person wants... To move forward and it may be just a very confused a lot of confusing energy here by summertime it's like okay do i really want this 
I don't know. Where is this going? Uh, is it going anywhere? And then we got the lovers at the bottom. So, uh, so it could be just, you know, sex. But then you have six of cups, which is soulmate energy. And, you know, someone you could have had past lives with. Or somebody, maybe it's somebody that you've known um, childhood. If not, then somebody that you feel like you've known them before. You could have had past lives with them. But here's the emperor now. So now we have the emperor and the empress. So this is a matching couple. This could be a twin flame journey here, if that makes sense. But again, the emperor in the moon, not seeing clearly, not knowing what to do, but needing to find balance here. But people being defensive and kind of reckless. Could be just a very fiery, passionate connection. Again, with the queen of wands. Very fiery, passionate connection. But it could lead to the ten of cups eventually. But I think it's going to take a while. <laughs> I think it's going to take a while. It's going to take a slow, slow while here with the king of pentacles kind of energy to the ten of cups very fiery passionate energy right now brand new beginning could be just fiery and passionate kind of reckless with the knight knight of swords you know people even though it's a fiery passionate connections people still being on guard and defensive needing to find balance in this because things just aren't coming to light like where is this going but we do have the emperor energy here which is a matching couple to the empress um, again, with very fiery, passionate connection. It def could be past life soulmate connection here with, you know, the lovers just being lovers. So, wow. So I think this may be just a, like, not a friends with benefits, but just very fiery, passionate lover kind of energy. And I think if for it to get serious, it's going to take a while because I think that person is still stuck and this person is trying hard. Because they want this with this person, and this person's stuck in the past, stuck in that situation um, kind of energy. So, wow. All right, so we have Gemini, we have Aries, we have Cancer Pisces, we have Sagittarius, uh, Libra Gemini Aquarius, uh, Leo Sag Aries, Gemini Virgo Capricorn, besides Cancer Scorpio Pisces Pisces. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio. I mean, we got all the signs here, basically. They're all here, so it could be anybody. So I hope this makes sense, resonates uh, with some here, because it feels like it's very confusing, a lot going on here. I don't feel like these people are connected, like they don't know each other, but they meet up and get a connection, but one person's ready to move it forward, and the other one is still stuck like in something else or trying to get out of that or leave it behind, and they just uh, having a hard time with that. Okay. But I feel like this side is very intuitive, but they just are stuck, stuck in that energy of being like a third party, I feel. And maybe they're afraid of that happening again, so they may be a little uh, reluctant here. Wow, okay. So let's get some closing messages for you, Taurus. With this deck, I do ask Taurus... If you do like how I read, please do uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And um, you can check out my channel if you like the readings I offer. Please do subscribe. I do a lot of different readings, but I may be narrowing, narrowing it down to just love readings. I'm not sure yet. So if you do subscribe, thank you. Thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel in whichever way. It's truly, truly appreciated. So let's get a message here for you. Denial. We have 14, which is 5, which is about change. Denial. So I think <laughs> this per person here is going to know. I mean, look at the mess on this side compared to this side. <laughs> this person's in a mess. And this person's in denial about this person being in a mess. Because they really like this person. And they want to invest in this person. But this person's in a mess. And this person's in denial. Oh, geez. What a mess. <laughs> All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. A fragment. Yeah, 15, 6. 6 is a healing, balancing number, but fragment here, I feel, yeah, fragment. This is very fragmented here. It's just, wow. Wow, it's a lot. So I'm just curious, uh, 15, what fragment has to say. 
sometimes it seems that life is split into many parts so many parts all of them separate and difficult to bring together yeah if this is difficult to bring together because there's so many parts to this there's so much going on and this person being in all that energy and this person just like ready they're just ready now and this person is just all fragmented and all over the place wow okay taurus well i hope this resonated for you so good luck to you and sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel so always always shine your light